Good morning or good evening, depend upon which class you usually attend. We are going to video the, the directions that you can follow in um, following the guidelines that we have decided to do to keep you all safe and healthy. So today's block is going to be girls' favorite. And it is, you can pull that sheet out of your packet of patterns. And in a little bit, we'll actually show you the colors if you are actually using the air incandescent fabrics that have been designed for this pattern. But as most of you are doing, or at least half of you are doing, are you, your own color selections, which is what I have done for my second quilt that I'm making in this um, class. The directions that I have written out are available to you on our Facebook page with the link that you can download, or if you are out and would like to stop by and pick up a sheet, you're welcome to do that also. My color selection that I've used, the block that is in the pattern has only used two colors. I have decided to add an additional color and have written the directions for the two colors. The directions that you have list the teal yellow green ombre number 301, and in my illustration here is actually my teal color in doing that. Most of you are using set A or using the Marty Michelle templates. This one here is actually using set A, which the reason that it does use set A is because we know that it's a finished 12 inch block. And if you look at the block, it's one, two, three, four units and 12 divided by four is three. And so Marty Michelle set A is for a three inch square basic block. So that is the set that we're using, but I've also illustrated here, if you follow the pattern, you can do it exactly the same way, but you'll have your points still on your triangles. So the first color that you use is color 301, which is my teal and the directions that I've written to follow that is that you cut eight, a4, which this is an A4 triangle here. So cutting eight A4s, you cut a strip the width of A4, and if you notice, it has the long leg of the triangle on the straight of the grain. So you cut eight of those, which are going to be used in these units right here in the directions following to do that. The second cut of your fabric is an A2 triangle unit, which the, the large A2 triangle, which you'll cut the short leg of the triangle on the length of the grain. And those are the two units that are used in the center square unit that you create. Your second fabric that you use is actually the dark purple light ombre, which is 205, which if you look at my block, it is gonna be the brown units. And I have added an additional color. My, these are not brown on mine. They will be part of the ombre 30, let's see, it's 30, no, 205 if you choose. I added an additional color, which that I used, um, it's not up there. Uh, in your direction sheet, it's A3. Oh, yeah, A3, right up there, A3. So you go ahead and cut those as illustrated in my directions. You cut four of the A2 triangles and four of the A3 triangles. One, two, three, I actually only see two. So we'll see whether that's right or not. And then for the background fabric, you do basically the same thing. You're gonna cut four and it would be the A1 triangles and you can follow the grain line on that. You're gonna cut two of the A3, A2 triangles, which are in the center square unit, which I'll talk about in a second. And then you'll cut, I believe, 16 A4 triangles, which do make sure that you cut the long leg on the, um, the straight of the grain on the long leg of the triangle, because your ideal cutting directions need to have the length of the, most stable grain along the outside of your block, which if you don't cut it that way, then you're gonna have bias all the way around the outside of your block in doing that. So that's the basic cutting instructions that you have for creating this block. 
Now, following the steps, step one that you are going to do, you are going to create, the, and I've illustrated it separately, you're gonna put your background fabric and your A, um, step, fabric number two, depending upon what you choose, and you're gonna create larger triangles by stitching together and do follow your placement as illustrated on your pattern piece. So you're gonna create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those units in doing that. And then you're gonna take your additional piece of, of fabric number two and add background fabrics onto the opposite sides of that and do pay attention that you create, it's actually a parallelogram that you're creating with that. So after you create those three units and doing that, you're gonna sew those together, which you're gonna create four of those units that are listed in step number two. And then step number three is created a little bit different. Uh, if, if you just look at the block, it looks like they've actually created four half square triangles, but that's not the way the pattern has you do it. They have you put uh, actually, that would be A2s in, two, in your two different color choices right here, and you're going to create basically an hourglass block that you sew the two triangles together, and you're going to create your inside square kind of a little bit different in doing that. And what I recommend is that you then fan those seam allowances in that unit, which would be right here, and I have talked in the directions which way that you press all your seam allowances. This you're gonna to press to the dark, and these you're gonna to press to the, away from the background fabric. This one you're pressing towards the center. But when you're working on this unit right here, fan those seam allowances so you have a nice flat center in making that. And then after you get these put together, we're gonna to stitch those together right here, then you're going to add opposite colors to the opposite sides and press those to the outside triangle that you have just added on. So that method is going to create your center uh, unit, which should actually measure six and a half inches here when before seam allowances. And you've already created four of these units with the square and the triangles. And I recommended at that point that when you add on to each side of your center unit, I press these seam allowances open. You've got quite a bit of bulk with these points meeting. And so I press these open and then you add your A1 background squares onto each one of those units here after you put these together. And then I did go ahead and press this seam open also. So it's really a pretty fast, easy block to create. If you're gonna follow the directions in the pattern and do not have access to set A, then you're gonna go ahead, and I believe this one is a four and a quarter inch square, and you're gonna mark that twice, and that is actually gonna be these units right here. And then this one here, oh no, wrong. That is actually gonna be your background units. And if you want to use a point trimmer, and pop those points off so you don't have to worry about those, you can do that. And then the same thing, I believe that's a three and seven eighths inch square, which is gonna be your center squares that you use to create this center block in making that work. So after that, it's pretty easy and simple, and you should, your block should measure 12 and a half inches before uh, with seam allowances, with seam allowances. And I think Kristen is gonna go over and take a picture of the coloration of, in the incandescent fabrics. So you have a reference on how that is being used. And if you have any questions, please call the shop at 316-284-2547. We'll be here. Bye.